When you order pizza from a pizza place, you expect to wait for a bit. You want it to be fresh, after all. What you don't expect is to look up at your pending order and not see your name, but instead you see a racial slur. Yeah, that's what happened to a Burlington woman. WFM1 News 2's Jessica Winters had her camera rolling as a supervisor at a Triad Domino's apologized to Myasia Nelson for apparent racial discrimination. It's an exclusive you'll see only on 2. The East Village Domino's fired that employee today for using the N-word referring to a customer. Instead of typing Myasia Nelson's name for the order board and her receipt, the employee punched in a racial slur. A Domino's supervisor apologized to Myasia face-to-face but says it was a mix-up. All he had to do was ask how to spell a name and it would have been an issue at all. Domino's supervisor Junior Snyder calling it a case of misspelling. He couldn't hear what she was saying. He asked her twice and apparently he just didn't know how to spell it and punched in something is, is what he said. My Asia Nelson says that doesn't add up. He only asked me once. He did not ask me twice. He asked me my name. I said it loud and clearly. My Asia. My Asia and her family ordered two boxes of pizza and a side of wings. Looked up at the order board to see how long it would take and then saw this, the N word. They don't sound the same. They, they're not similar words at all. The first reaction was anger. My mom went in there. She started yelling. She like cursing. Then I, I was in shock. My Asia saying this was not a spelling error. Racial discrimination. That's what I feel like it is. I was interviewing My Asia when Snyder jumped in to apologize in person. I, I'm so sorry and I apologize to you. And let her know the worker in question was let go. I talked to him today. And was he fired? Yes, ma'am. I told him I said, we can't have, you know, mistake or no mistake or whatever. I said, you can't work for our company. You know, we don't, we're not like that. Do you accept his apology? No, I don't. And just to clarify, Maesha says she does accept the apology of Supervisor Snyder, but she wants a direct apology from the employee who did it. She was offered a $50 Domino's gift card for this ordeal, but she refused it.